Sorry to be the party pooper, but it looks like it's going to be fourth place. Hello there, folks, and welcome to part 12 of the fourth season, and probably the final part of the fourth season of Conquering the Euro with Liverpool on Football Manager 2019. And today we will play the final five games of the Premier League season. Not all on camera, but the first and the last ones will be against Man City first off, and then finally against Middlesbrough. Let's have a look, though, what's happened since I've last been with you, and then we can talk about why this might be the last episode of the season. <coughs> Sorry, when I was last with you... That's a bit of a weird one. Of, eh. <laughs> when I was last with you, we played against Chelsea and Paris Saint-Germain. We went and played against Chelsea in the FA Cup. Now, we went 1-0 down. We, in fact, we went 2-0 down. But Balotelli got one back quickly. Trincao got one back. And after 120 minutes, it was two each. Um, and then in the penalty shootout, we were 3-1 up after Hazard scored uh, missed his first penalty. Sorry. Henderson missed his penalties. So that meant that was, our, that was our first miss. But unfortunately, Alexander-Arnold missed to mean that Chelsea won the shootout 6-5. Yes, yeah, 6-5, that's right. And unfortunately, we weren't through in the FA Cup. We've had three particularly good games in the Premier League. Scored three in each of them. Balotelli scoring two. Fabinho one. Henderson two. Gnabry two. Wilson one. And Lucas Smith with one. And let's have a look at Lucas Smith. Well, I thought I'd give him a chance. He's been doing particularly well in the Liverpool under-23s. He's only 18 years of age. In the league so far, in the under-23s league this season, if we can get that up, he actually scored 35 goals. That's in all comps. I don't think it's just in the league. But in... Um, all comps, he has scored 35 goals. I'm presuming he's just been promoted to this team because for some reason he's not in this goals list. So where he's getting all these goals from, I'm not particularly sure. Um, we can have a look, I suppose, at the under-23 schedule. That, I, I didn't mean to do this, but this is just um, interested me. Where Where is he then? Lucas Smith scored one there. Is he was he in the was he in the under eighteen squad? Do we think possibly before? Yeah, he was. It was in the under, must have been in the under 18s team. But regardless, he scored a hat trick in the youth league against RB Leipzig in the Champions League. Um, he again scored a hat trick in the youth league once again. Scored a hat trick against Tottenham. So he's got uh, some very good goal scoring form. And has just moved up to the under twenty threes. Obviously, he had a game for us against Southampton in the last few minutes. Didn't do particularly well, but we did start him against Huddersfield. So there wasn't really anybody else on the bench apart from Aguero. And I thought we ought to promote the youth. So we put him in. And within a minute, he scored. So that was absolutely immense. And then we played West Ham. It was a struggle of a game. They did bring it back to 2-2. But a late winner from Harry Wilson means that the table looks like this. We're out of all the honourable competitions. Um, so it's just going to be the League Cup, I presume, again this year. But if you look at that, um, we've actually got Man City first. So even if we wouldn't win that game, um, we'll have played 34 games, 67 points. We're seven points behind Chelsea with one more game played. There's 12 points up for grabs. Basically, unless a miracle happens, we're not going to win the league. Never mind win the league, but even finish in third, second, or at the top of the league. So I thought it'd be a waste of time, to be honest, to do that. Plus the fact I want to have a little chat at the end about future plans for next season and how we're going to get on. But let's get past these two games first on camera, shall we? So the first one's against Man City, and the team for this one is as follows. There's a few tired players. We've actually switched the person around just a little bit. LaFont stars in goal with Toure, Mamana, Van Dijk and Moreno at the back. Grudic and Fabinho are, or for, yeah, it is Fabinho, in the midfield. Wilson and Gnabry are the wingers today with um, Trinko nursing a little bit of an injury. And Woodburn and Balotelli who have scored 43 goals between them this season. We've, we've scored 80 goals in all comps. and uh, No, that's just in the Premier League, sorry. We've scored 80 goals in the Premier League. Yeah, our goal difference is quite poor. It just shows how bad the defence have been. I don't think it's necessarily how that bad the defence have been standalone, but perhaps how bad the... Not even the tactic, but just how sloppy we've been. If you look at the average ratings of the defenders, the likes of Jorge, Mia, um, Lafonte, they've all got seven pluses in terms of ratings, but the stats in terms of our defence itself isn't too fantastic. What a ball that is from... Van Dijk to Balotelli early on, but doesn't really reach to anything. Phil Foden at number six. That is very odd of a number. Um, I think he, well, he's a striker, isn't he? I'm fairly sure he is. Um, but City now have a counter attack. Fabio on the ball. Fabio through to Sana. This could well be the first goal. It's into Dybala, and that's a goal for City. And that's not really good enough from us, to be quite honest, because we didn't have a chance ourselves, the courtesy of Balotelli, but it didn't come off. So that's a little bit disappointing, but we're not going to watch that. We've already watched it once. Hopefully, though, we can get back into this nice and quickly. Wilson with a corner. It's quite a poor one, though, and it's straight out to the City players. But Woodburn recovers it. Back to Wilson. Second time lucky. Perhaps Wilson cuts inside himself. That's a shot himself. And he was very close there to getting a very good individual goal. But if we can beat City, we can try to stop them winning their title and put Chelsea in the driving seat. But if they do win today, they do go ahead of Chelsea with the same amount of games played. So it's very much a two-horse fight if... Um, Man City win today, and if Man City do win today, we are pretty much confirmed fourth, because even if Arsenal lose their game in hand, which they'll have now, 
they're four points ahead, and we've 12 points to play for. They've got to have that. It's going to be a miracle. That's what I've said before. It's going to be a miracle um, for any of this to happen. And if City actually win their next game as it stands, we can't win the league um, on numbers. And really, where we fell behind this year is ultimately the defence. You know, the attack have been really good. We didn't have the best of starts. That, that's a fair comment to have. Um, but in the end of the day, we've drawn seven, which isn't too brilliant. And we've lost eight as it stands. But with 80 scored, we've conceded 45. The likes of City have only scored 20, uh, conceded 22. This is going to be good maths required here. Uh, Chelsea 28 and Arsenal actually not that brilliant either with 40, no 39 they've conceded but it's certainly nothing on our 45 that we've conceded so that's another one there, it's 2-0 to City and that's our problem, um, we are good in attack but we have to outscore teams and if the likes of City are going to score 2 every game against us then you know it's not really going to happen unfortunately but we're going to have to do all we can do now to get that attack just right. Again, it's going to be tricky to do because we need three goals to win this game. But we have just been outdone. We need to buy a big striker in the in the window, in my opinion. We did buy Mitrovic in January. But it is going to be tricky now whether we just risk having Mitrovic for the new season. Um, because he's had really no chance to perform because of his early injury. And, you know, he might be a complete flop. So we really don't know about Mitrovic and whether it might be a gamble to buy a new striker. I'm not sure. But with Aguero leaving the club... Um, there is certainly room for another backup striker anyway, even with Mitrovic's inclusion from the start of next season. But we have missed out on the likes of Mo Salah, um, again, Mitrovic. And there's been some players we've missed out on for large portions of the season. That's not really an excuse because the depth in this squad is quite good. And if we look at the average ratings of the players, actually, a hell of a lot of them have played particularly well. There's the odd anomaly in terms of possibly at left back where there's not been the best in terms of playing. But what an individual goal that is from Harry Wilson, who definitely is going to be someone... On the radar to even take over from Mo Salah next year. That sounds absolutely bonkers. But if Salah does end up leaving the club this summer for a big fee. I'm quite content that Wilson can be the stand in there. And we don't need to buy anybody else. Because when Wilson's been called upon this season. Which admittedly is probably for the, only for the last half of the season. He's done an absolutely stellar job. And we've got Abri Trincao on the wings as well. I don't really think. We certainly don't need another big money player. Uh, Rian Brewster can also play right wing. And... You know, I, I think Salah's position might even come under threat and because Wilson might start moaning next year if Salah's picked. But uh, that's very nearly 3-1, but luckily it's offside, so that's OK. We have got one back, though. We haven't really focused on that too much. Wilson with a, a, an 8.2 rating. No one else doing particularly well at the moment, but with us being 2-1 down, I'm not particularly surprised with that at all. Sinai's run us ragged so far. Well, that's not particularly good enough, but we need to be aggressive. We need to tell them what we need a much better showing in the second half. Um, I am a bit stuck though, I'm out of ideas for who to buy in the summer, I don't really think we need to buy anyone particularly, we've got a very good squad, um, we might need to have pass, perhaps another defender, I don't particularly know, because Jorge Mia might be leaving for Barcelona, we did. We said we'd accept a bit of £60 million, which would be an absolutely stellar deal, considering we picked him up for £10 million from Cologne a few years ago, so to sell him for that much, for £60 million, would be absolutely fantastic, now we're going to do something that's bonkers, we're going to bring Lucas Smith on for Balotelli, and we're going to bring Lalana on for Gnabry. Lalana this year has been very good, um, and at the end of the day, you know, it seems that Smith, um, when he plays, he scores. So we're going to give him a massive opportunity here, irrespective of any ability, um, any potential. He's just been playing well when he's been called upon, and Smith on the ball now, and it's a penalty. I oh, do we give it to Lucas Smith? Are we going to be really stupid and give it to Lucas Smith? So if anyway, he was the player who got took down. What's his stats like for penalties? 12 and 8. We're going to go for it. We're going to go for it. What else have we got to lose at this point? It's going to be Lucas Smith to level the game in this game against Man City. He's going to miss it, isn't he? Surely. What a responsibility. It's been saved. That's me being an idiot there. That's me being a complete idiot, putting too much pressure on the youngster. Um, and we didn't deserve all we get now, that was just foolish, and uh, City will probably get one back now, which was really stupid of me to do that, but, you know, not the less, we haven't really got much to play for now, we are going to win our next four games, I would say, to keep us in the fight um, for fourth place, perhaps a bit stupid of me now, I actually quite regret doing that, but, you know, at the end of the day, that's life, Celebi, Celebi, yeah, it is life, yeah. <laughs> Right, one more uh, substitution. We'll bring Cater on for Fabinho. Cater is someone, I must admit, that if we sold him as well, it wouldn't be a big loss. We perhaps need not necessarily an overhaul, but a few big names leaving the club, a few big personalities, just to shake up the squad a little bit. Not the best performance, not, not, not like Salah, but perhaps someone like Cater 
in an already crowded midfield wouldn't do us the world of bad, to be honest. Wouldn't be the worst thing in the world for us. But City could get a third here. Fabio on the edge of the box shoots. And it's a goal for Fabio Silva for Man City. And I certainly do regret not having that penalty now um, for a decent penalty tag. Because to the end of the day, could have been a win we'd have got there. But City are ahead again. We can't really do too much about it at this point. But um, it is going to be an interesting next four games. As long as we win those four games, we're in the money um, for the for fourth, maybe even third, if Arsenal really muck it up. But I think their schedule isn't too bad, so I don't think they'll do that badly. And I think now we just need to look forward to next season. So possibly a few youngsters playing, possibly a bit of rotation in the squad, just to see who are the good players. But it's not that much of an underachievement to finish fourth this year. You know, you've had three very good teams, Arsenal, City and Chelsea, both of which we have to comment on. I think we've lost um, to all these teams at least once. So... For us to win the league would probably be unjust and Fabio Silva finishes the game off at this point and fair play to him. He's been a good um, substitute for City but they've made a little bit of an embarrassment out of us now to be quite honest. But I don't think it was. I can't, we, we can't blame it on that penalty can we? Surely not. I don't know. But uh, we've got a few seconds left. Um, City with the corner and uh, we've been, well we've been robbed. We've had the more possession. We've had more shots and to lose 4-1 is a little bit embarrassing but we've lost this game you know. It sums up the season, really. We do need to win the league next year. I think it's fair to say. We need to win the league next year. Come back with a big squad. But we have got four games left to hopefully go on a bit of a... Um, yeah. Hopefully go, on, go out on a bit of a high. If I can get it, actually get my words out correct. Go out on a bit of a high. Um, and I'll see you for the final match. I think it's against Middlesbrough back at Anfield. Right, we're nearly ready for this final match. We're just in the loading screen waiting for the last match against Borough. And you might notice at the top that we're in fifth. Yeah, the less said about that, the better. The fans have started voting where their feet, it seems. The fans are not particularly turned up to games, although I say they're not turned up to games. We just had a quite a poor turnout against Watford. I think it was 40,000, but it was still the lowest ever um, attendance since we've started the save. It seems the fans have started uh, walking with their feet, or talking with their feet, rather. Um, I don't know why this is taking so long to load. That's annoying me, but... It seems that we're on, a we're on a really bad run, basically. We're not on a bad run, but we've uh, not done particularly well in this run between that City game and now. And uh, Basically, Manchester United have gone on a good run and overtook us, and they're actually two points ahead of us going to the final game. So, providing that they get at least a point, they're, 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 you know, they're, they're in, effectively. They're into the Champions League next year. We're two points behind them. The only saving grace is, is that they have got Chelsea, but for some reason... Ourselves and Tottenham take um, our game. Oh, that's a nasty game. Bournemouth um, can't finish above us, but Tottenham can as well. If we lose to Middlesbrough, um, but the game against Man the game for Manchester United, which is crucial, the one against Chelsea. Thank God they've got Chelsea and nobody else. So I think Chelsea will do them, and that might be where we get into the Champions League. But as I said, um, we're not on the best run. We've won one of the games against Burnley, but we were 2 three, one behind with 10 minutes to go. It was just only the great, fantastic nature of the team that we won that game. With Aguero, Naby Keita and Alana scoring all in the last 10 minutes. Then we drew against Watford with a goal in the last minute, the last seconds with Zaha. And then that Villa results just says it all. 6-3 to Villa. Um, and now we've got the final game against Borough. And honestly, I do think that possibly, and this might be a ridiculous thing to say, if we don't qualify for the Champions League, then I think I'm ready to walk out of this club because I don't see us. Um, I don't see a situation where we're, the, where we're in the Europa League being able to attract the players that's necessary to go and win a league. Um, so it might just well be that the fortune's just not right here, to be honest. And that might be a... That genuinely might be a factor, but at the moment, there's some real head-scratching going on, from my point of view anyway, and uh, I just can't get to the bottom of what's going wrong here, I really can't, which possibly means that, you know, it might be time to give another manager a go. But for the last game of this season, we are going to play the following squad. Lloris starts in goal, the font's not played well recently, so Lloris can have a goal, uh, Lloris can have a game. Uh, Toure, Mia, Van Dijk and Robertson at the back, with Fabinho and Keita chosen in the midfield. Wilson and Trinkera on the wings with um, Woodburn and Balotelli up front. We are going to put... Do we put Gnabry on in place of Woodburn? Uh, not in place of Woodburn, sorry, in place of Wilson. We'll swap them two wingers about. Um, and to be honest, the, the least that we can do now is go and win this game. Just for our pride, really. As long as we win this game, we're still in a chance of finishing fourth in the Premier League. And that game against Villa was just a complete mess. We were completely dominated by them. 
and they deserve the results. And, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if it's not a big turnout here at Anfield today. I really wouldn't. Um, it doesn't say a turnout at the moment. We'll have to, might have to have a look at that, though, in a minute. But let's just tell the lads um, just to be calm and just to say... Uh, let's give the fans something to go home. Smiling about. Simple, um, yet effective, in my point of view. Lalana will be um, his last game in a Liverpool shirt. I'm quite gutted about that, to be honest, um, because he's played fantastically this season. Um, and if we can get something done in the off-season to either remain at the club as a coach or to play for another season, then I'd more than embrace that contract. Let's have a look, though, at the match information. Let's see how many have turned up at the Liverpool today. Um, it doesn't say again. Uh, did it say anywhere here? Drizzle. It doesn't say anything about attendance. It usually does. But that was a very early goal, possibly nearly, for Mario Balotelli. Match overview? No. Hmm. We must only know after the game then how many have attended, which is probably realistic because you do get over the tunnel at games. Well, you know, so many have turned up at today's game. But it seems we've dominated Middlesbrough in the early exchange, but we just need to get a goal on the board now. We've got a, Actually, we haven't. Oh, okay. Well, they're playing at four, but apparently they've already kicked off. That's FM for you. Um, they've actually got a, a superior goal difference now of Manchester United, which is interesting. So they need to lose this game against Chelsea. Lovely ball from Robertson into Trinko, and that's... Oh, how's he not scored that? Was it over the line? We don't know. I think I think we've got the AR in this league now. I'm fairly sure we have. Um, but that's not what that's not going to be reviewed, it seems. But we're going to have to keep a close eye on that match between United and Chelsea. We've been drilled. We've been drawn a very pleasant um, game with the game against Middlesbrough. They've got nothing to play for. It looks like we're going to win with Cater getting his first goal. Tottenham also scoring against Bo uh, against Bournemouth to put them on equal points for us. And oh my God. The one goal behind on goal difference. Oh, my God. That's painful. So, if they... if they Well, basically, the result matters. I was just about to say, you know, 1-0 will be fine as long as United lose. But United um, are drawing at the moment. Very interesting to see what's going on here. But a good ball from Trinkow to Woodburn, but nothing comes with it, unfortunately. Randolph puts it out. And that's quite bad from our number two Torre there. And we need to have a sort out over the summer, really. See who's worthy of staying at this club. If we qualify for the Champions League, that is, of course. Solanke, of course, our former player playing against us today. Good ball from Trinket to Balotelli. Ballo with a shot, and tell you what, he's brilliant with those sort of shots. But unfortunately, on this, on that occasion, doesn't quite come off for him. But I wonder what's going to happen. Chelsea have lost the title, so they haven't got anything to play for. They're guaranteed second place. But it's a massive game, a rival game against Manchester United. If Manchester United don't qualify for the Champions League, the press say that Mourinho will be sacked. So... I think that possibly both teams might be giving it their all today, particularly United, obviously, because they've got to qualify for the Champions League still. So this is going to be a very interesting 90 minutes, and it's not all over yet. And we've got to make sure we keep up our end of the bargain of actually winning this game, or else if we don't win, well, there's no chance of us finishing the top, in the top four, because even if Manchester United lose, Tottenham are still in that space. There's a lovely ball over, um, whoever that was from, and we'll find out in a minute. If it's a goal, we don't find out, and we'll have to... Find out a bit later. But it was a good solo strike from Gnabry. But nothing really coming of it in the end, unfortunately. But we've dominated Borough this half. And it seems a bit more of a back-to-basic approach that we've used in this game. Seems to be working a little bit better. Hugo Lloris, our goalkeeper for this match. Beautiful ball out to Gnabry. He's got hold of that nice stuff. A long kick that's actually gone to its place. I think possibly Lafont's distribution might be something to look at um, for next season. It might well be something as simple as that, that his distribution's quite poor. There's no goalkeeping instructions on anymore, so Lloris can do what he wants, and it seems that that's worked quite well so far. But we're 1-0 up. United and Chelsea have had no wriggle room so far, but if Chelsea do beat United, then as it stands, we do qualify for the Champions League next season. It's crazy we're in this sort of situation, though, because we should have beat Watford. Um, you know, that was just a really unfortunate last-minute goal. The Villa game was an absurdity, to be quite honest, on our part. Not saying that Villa didn't deserve it, but on our part it was embarrassing. Um, and it's just been that we haven't played very well. So do we deserve Champions League? I'm not sure. But whether we deserve it or not, we're going to fight for it as hard as we blooming well can. Possibly to save our job. You never know. Gnabry. Through to Fabinho. Good stuff. Nice ball over to Trincao. Can we get a second one on the board? Trincao. Oh, it doesn't quite come over to him. That's unfortunate there. Almi Torre should win that, but he doesn't because it's gone to Solanke, and that's just generally quite poor from the defender there. Solanke to number 10. Koric through on goal. We let him in too easily there. Really wasn't good enough from, um, from Almi Torre. Right, Chelsea have took the lead against United. That's crucial. Chelsea now two up against United. Two quick-fire goals. 
As long as Tottenham don't score again, then we are in the Champions League by the most bonkers of situations possible. But I feel like we might be able to... Um, we won't keep up our end, our end of the bargain, you know, here. Because I feel... I just feel that Bournemouth are going to get back into this game. Two killer blows just happened, though. United have got one back against Chelsea, and Tottenham have scored a second. Just a reminder, if they score a third as it stands, they are in the Champions League. What a game this is. And it's quite a boring game from our point of view. We just need to make sure we score again, which is exactly what has just happened. What an assist from Robertson. Woodburn ends his real barren run of goals. I genuinely think that Woodburn... Could have had 30 in all comps this year if he hadn't have gone on that barren run. But that ends his barren run before the end of the season. That's certainly nice to see. Robertson, uh, a good ball from Van Dijk and a good individual effort to put it into Woodburn. He beats the keeper and there was no way that Randolph was particularly going to get to that. So, basically what's going to happen now is for Tottenham to have an absolute goal... Um, what's it called? Goal glut, is it what they call it? I don't know. But they've got to score a lot of goals against Bournemouth. Funnily enough, Man City are losing on this occasion, so it seems that all the top sides have let themselves down bar Chelsea on this occasion. Trinke with the free kick, and that is going to be the last we see of him today, because he's got a tight cast. So we're going to bring Wilson on. Um, we are going to bring Lallana on as a little bit of a last game. Um, fair play, you know, last bit of a, you know, last game, farewell, bit of a clap, a bit of a standing ovation coming onto the pitch. And Moreno is going to come on as well, because it might well be his final game for the club. Few minutes to go though here, and for some reason, miraculously, and out of luck at the moment, it seems we are going to qualify for the Champions League. Fabinho makes it 3 0. So Tottenham aren't going to go above us. It's all a case of whether United can get that point. Because if they draw, their goal difference is superior to us at the moment. I think it's quite a lot superior. So we'd need another, what, three or four goals without reply for United not to be above us if they make it a draw. Just waiting for the bottom of that screen. Are United going to get the draw? Bournemouth have got a goal back against Tottenham. That's not going to matter in the grand scheme of things, I don't think. I think that Tottenham game is over, and I think the United game will be over as well. So, miraculously, we need a little bit of luck sometimes. But do we deserve top four? It's questionable. Man City have won the Premier League, and it looks like, unless there's an absolutely last-second goal from United, that we are in the top four. Well, when we needed it there, it was a good game. OK, Ball and Middlesbrough weren't the best opposition, but we were solid. We won 3-0. Good defended structure, apart from that mistake from Almi Toro. But it seems the Ball had a good game. And it was a very good game from the strikers and the midfields. With Naby Keita getting man of the match. But it looks like we are going to get fifth, uh, fourth place. Steal it from United on the last day of the season. And possibly that may lead to Jose Mourinho sacking. It is um, a fourth place for us. And Balotelli is delighted um, at the back in for us. So Trincao's injured. The initial budget is £193 million. We've qualified for the Champions League um, out of pure luck, I would say, there, really. Um, has Mourinho been sacked? Let's have a look. Job security. Um, Jose Mourinho is just insecure at United, but the Dortmund job is very insecure. Don't forget that we have to win this league to kind of tick it off, but we can leave Liverpool um, and go somewhere else without winning the league. But is next year the year? I really don't know. Balotelli's had 23 goals this year in all comps, which is fantastic for him. Trinko with 21 assists. Again, fair play to him. I think our attackers have been the best of the season, um, period. Jack Grealish actually takes top assist off of Trinko before the last day of the season. I bet that was against us as well. Burnley, Watford and Palace going down. If we have a look at the average ratings, the best is Salah with Trinko, Woodburn and Wilson actually up there as well. Uh, but a hell of a lot of our players in sevens. But the likes of Mamana, who's probably going at the end of the year. Mitrovic has only played two, so we can't really um, use him as an example. But the likes of Grucic, Lafont haven't played awfully well. And going into next season, it might well be a case of getting rid of those Deadwood players and bringing in a few more professional players to go win the title next year. So the fourth season's over. We have finished fourth. It wasn't the best season, to be quite honest. We got away with it there. That was the... Uh, long and short of it. We might be at another club come next season. We really don't know. I'm, I'm open to offers to go elsewhere. But at the moment, we're still the Liverpool manager. And we're going to respect that as a big fan of my boyhood club, Liverpool. But thank you very much for watching, folks, so far. We will be back after Christmas on the 27th of December. So I wish you a very Merry Christmas. Not quite a Happy New Year yet, because it's not quite there yet. But have a fantastic Christmas. Thank you so much for watching my content this year. And I'll see you in a few days' time. Have a good yeah. day. The, the, the phrase just completely gone, but I'm not going to cut that out because I don't cut things out over here. So, have an enjoyable and relaxing Christmas and Boxing Day. But until then, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys on Wednesday, Thursday.
Thursday for the first episode of a new season. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.